Greetings. So, many of you may have noticed that Dystopia Chaotica had everyone tagged on her Halloween questions video. And then later on on Facebook, on a conversation we were having, she specifically uh, tagged, <laughs> tagged me again. So, the Halloween questions. Number one, what is your favorite Halloween movie? May. And that could very quickly be followed up by Trick or Treat. Uh, not the Trick or Treat movie that had, I think, Alice Cooper or something in it. Oh, and it was awful. No, this was from 2009, Trick or Treat. And the uh, er is just an apostrophe R. And I enjoyed that one quite a bit. It's a lot of fun. Question number two, one through ten, how much do you enjoy Halloween? The thing is, right around Halloween, every year I host a party. And so usually the time right before the party is really pretty stressful for me as I'm getting everything prepared and making sure that everyone's invited and the house looks good and decent and there's some decorations up and everything so that can actually be a bit stressful. On Halloween night itself, up until last year I lived in a neighborhood where people didn't really, kids didn't go trick-or-treating. People didn't trust their kids to do so. So even though we would buy candy and everything would be okay, uh, along those lines, my ex had like one employee at her company that would bring their kids over. And that was it. So it was really, really lame in that aspect. And I, I don't go trick-or-treating anymore. Um, so Halloween night itself has usually really not been that big of a deal. For me, last year, however, now that I live in a new neighborhood, there were quite a few kids who actually came up to the door, and I wasn't used to it, so I didn't really prepare for it or anything. So this year, maybe I will. We'll see. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but there may be something pretty cool from that. What is your fondest Halloween memory? Again, usually the party means more stress than it means actual enjoyment, sadly. I remember one year when I was a kid, uh, I grew up on a farm with my sister, and I convinced her that we should, there's an area between the highway that goes by the farm and the row of trees that our house is behind and everything. And then there's kind of a raised area. It's in front of the ditch and I don't know it's and I convinced her that that nice flat area would make for a great graveyard and so we went around the farm grabbing anything that we could find that could serve as either a cross um, or a tombstone or something and then we painted words names onto the tombstones and everything and created our own little graveyard also, living on a farm, I had lots of dreams of turning our barn into a, a haunted house. And so I put quite a bit of time and effort into little projects here and there leading to that kind of an end. Never did finish it. <laughs> and there, um, there's the bottom floor of our barn has had always been used for cattle to just stay there and roam free. So it wasn't something that the average person would really want to be walking around. So, uh, yeah, it, no one ever saw any of the preparations I made, but I did make quite a few when I was a kid. So those things that were, were really enjoyable for me. Which fairly nicely leads into, have you always been a Halloween lover? And yes, yes, I have. Um, Yeah, it's always been the greatest holiday to me. Uh, Christmas is always fun because, you know, we, we got presents and everything. But Halloween 
I guess I always felt like it was a good opportunity to make things. A good excuse to be imaginative and create things. How do you get into the Halloween spirit? Watching movies, I guess, for the most part. There aren't many movies that I wait until a particular time to watch them. So it ends up mainly being rewatching a lot of movies. And I usually don't actually go for a lot of the standard horror movies. I Around Halloween time, it is not very interesting to me to watch uh, the Halloween series, strangely enough, or Friday the 13th, or anything like that, Hellraiser. For some reason, those are things that because I would watch them on such a regular basis at other times of the year, they're not really special to me in a Halloween sense. And so when it comes to Halloween specific movies that really kind of get me into the mood, it is things like May, it is things like Trick or Treat, um, some very specific movies that I usually don't watch too often outside of the Halloween time. Uh, also, I'm not a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. Partly because to me it's honestly kind of confusing. I don't know if it's a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie. It doesn't feel right to me that it's both. That's just kind of weird. Sorry to everybody who absolutely loves it and thinks it's both and everything else, but I just, I've never gotten that feel. I don't own a copy of it. It's cool. I'll watch it if I'm at a friend's place and they're watching it or something, but I'm, it's not that big a deal to me. Uh, favorite Halloween decorations? I think this is kind of a big deal to me. I like decorations that look real. Like my pair of skulls that I've got that are amazingly realistic. I got them at Walgreens of all places in the world. A couple of years ago, I haven't seen them on the shelves since, sadly. I got, well, actually, no, I got one at Walgreens about four years ago, and the other one I got at Big Lots two years ago. And I haven't seen them anywhere else. If, if I saw them now, I'd probably blow a hundred bucks on, on them because they were like 10 bucks a piece, maybe 20. In which case, yeah, I could still get five. That'd be fine. I'd have no problem doing that at all. But I really like decorations that look real. I like the strings of uh, the strings of brown and orange leaves that you can find at like Michaels and Hobby Lobby and places like that. I loathe anything with glitter. Fuck it. I, I don't. I don't care. I hate glitter. It just really pisses me off. I'm just not a fan at all. I don't like. Well, I, I don't mind the less realistic things if they are essentially vintage. If it's like an old photograph or an old poster or something from like the 70s or 80s or before then with Halloween things on it, then I'm, I'm usually better with it because it reminds me of the decorations we had at home when I was a kid. But for the most part, things that aren't realistic, I'll pass. I just don't like them. Favorite Halloween and fall scent? Pumpkin, I imagine. Well, okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna take a little bit of liberty on the word scent, because this isn't something, hopefully, <laughs> that you can find in someone's home, but in the fall, at our, near our farm, it was, my dad was on the county board, or some kind of county committee or something, and the county has to make sure that they burn the weeds in the ditches in the fall once they've turned brown. It has something to do with how the snow moves through the area during winter. 
And what we would do is my dad would drive the pickup truck through, you know, the ditches really slowly. And we would just have a lit torch that, and, and propane tank that we'd have in the back of the pickup truck that I would hold on to to make sure it didn't fly out the back. But then the fire, like the torch end of it, would just drag on the ground and light all of the weeds as we went along. And that smell of the burning ditches, and so equally the smell of burning leaves, to me is just, that will always instantly put me in a mood for Halloween and fall beauty. And that's just an amazing thing. So when I hear typo negative talking about her perfume smells like burning leaves to me, I know, I, I know exactly what they mean and it's magnificent and it's wonderful. Unfortunately, I've never actually seen it. I've never actually seen a scent like a perfume or anything that was even trying to smell like burning leaves, which is a shame. But burning leaves, seconded by pumpkin scented things. And cloves, I suppose. Pum pumpkin clove scented things. Favorite candy. When I was a kid and I'd get Halloween candy, the candy I always would hope for was Snicker bars. I've always been a big fan of Snickers. To me, almost any other candy bar is just a half ass Snickers that they forgot to put some things into. That's just always been my favorite, I guess. Vampires or zombies? Vampires. Really. And there's no contest there. What is your weird or odd fear? I don't think it's weird or odd at all, personally, but I've been looking up house centipedes online lately because I had one in my house years and years and years ago. That, And I'm not even going to feel bad about this. And I may not be proud in admitting it, but I will happily admit it. But there was a house centipede that I found in the shower like as I was going to get in it was just right there and this shower was kind of enclosed in the front so it didn't it couldn't run away and it was just right there and I'd never seen anything like it before in my life I didn't know they existed it just it was like this freaky fucking worm that had spider legs and nothing like that should exist on the earth at the time I smoked so I ran and I got my Zippo fluid and I killed it with fire because Holy shit, those are some scary bastards. Ugh. So, weird, odd fear? House centipedes. And they don't even bite people. They, like, eat bugs and crap. I don't care. Number 11, and the final question, do you believe in ghosts? No, I don't. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in the human soul. And therefore, I don't believe in anything that could really become a ghost. Uh, there's been some theories within the quantum science realms that have kind of laughingly looked at the possibility of an impression being left on the quantum field and that possibly being something that you could call a ghost, but I don't care. It's not anything that anyone's really looked into seriously that I've ever seen along those lines and so it just I don't I don't believe in ghosts sorry but those are the Halloween questions uh, boy that's really a crappy way to like leave it off and not any fun at all I can't even think of anything else cool to say or mention or anything so I guess that's it that's that's all you get thank you